Hello and welcome everyone. We have a wonderful guest with us today, Ruth Walker from the Walt Disney Studios. We're going to be talking about making marketing magic happen today. Very, very exciting. So Ruth, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at Disney. Thank you, Lisa. So I run the Disney Movie Insiders program with my fabulous team. And what we do is we fuel our members passion and excitement for all things Disney movies. And we do that with engagement, access, and reward opportunities. Uh, I've been with the team for two years. I, have however, have been with Disney for 25, and so have held several different roles within the studio. But I'm so excited to be able to be part of the Disney Movie Insiders team because it's really that opportunity to build a CRM engine for the studio. That's incredible. And we know that, that in order to make, make magic happen, we need both the magic and the logic. We need, we need the numbers and the systems to make everything work, right? Yes, absolutely. Art and science working That's together. Right. So tell me a little bit about the vision for transforming this loyalty program? What, 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 was, what were you setting out to do and how have you been going about getting there? Well, the program actually started back in 2003. And at the time it was called Disney Movie Rewards. And it was really built primarily for the in-home DVD and Blu-ray mm. uh, market. So this was really trying to create a loyalty program to incentivize purchasing through that mechanism. And it, it actually is a very popular program. It's very beloved by the membership that engage. Uh, however, we really needed to upgrade the technology of the program and really also felt like it was a great opportunity to be able to not only work on loyalty, but really use it as a way to reach our best customers and have a direct conversation with them. Uh, because really in our in-home and our theatrical markets, uh, we don't own that point of sale. It's really through our downstream partners that those movies are delivered to our customers. And so this was really a great opportunity to be able to reach across because our fans want to have a direct relationship with the brands that they love. And, you know, under Disney, we have Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar, our fantastic Walt Disney animation films. And so these are, these are movies that people just think of and that they love and are part of their memories. So we wanted to really build a mechanism that we could establish that direct relationship. Boy, it sounds like you have to connect a lot of different dots. So tell me, what have been some of the top challenges that you faced as you built and rolled out your CRM platform? Probably, I think overall, it was fitting our infinite dreams onto a finite roadmap. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much possibilities. We are very member first, so we, we listen a great deal um, every week. My team is reviewing with our customer service team calls and reports about what they're hearing. We have a, a customer advisory panel um, that our research team runs for us. Our insights team is providing social listening. So there's a lot of um, information that we get from our memberships about what they want. But then also our technology team is thinking of things that they don't even know they want that we think are so exciting because we get the privilege of working with these incredible filmmakers. And, you know, also we want to work with partners that will help expand our reach and our relevance. And so I think a lot of that trying to fit into a finite roadmap you know, is really that prioritization. And a lot of those integrations in order to make this happen, of course, you know, are challenging just because you're, you're trying to get all these different systems and partners, quite frankly, to align. So interesting. I think, you know, as marketers, we have very similar challenges in our jobs. I, I, it's incredible to listen to your story. I can, I can relate to it firsthand. So integrating the CRM and the, the loyalty program, there are a lot of moving parts, right? Yes, so very much so. What advice do you have for the people who are tuning in for how to get the people and the partners and everybody like doing their part, playing together and getting, getting everything to harmonize? How do you do it? Well, a lot of my career actually has been spent working with partners. Every, you know, 
from a very diverse set from cinemas to the military. And really from that, I think, you know, it, that experience really demonstrated to me the necessity and uh, to really establish common ground and credibility and trust. So your partners, in order for them to devote the resources necessary to not only do that upfront integration, but to keep supporting it throughout the program, um, you really have to make sure that you're communicating that you're going to help them achieve their strategic goals as well. And so that's, you know, that's sometimes difficult, I think, for a loyalty function because often loyalty doesn't necessarily hold the key relationship with the partner. And so, you know, we've really had to either bring people such as myself on board that had those direct relationships or bring people who were trusted by the key stakeholders who had those relationships. And that's why we have an integrated marketing function, um, you know, so that we can really act as an extension of a lot of the marketing arms and distribution arms within our, our company. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really about trying to find a way so that departments who have never worked together, trying to trade legal language in a topic that sometimes the people that you're dealing with, that's not really what the language they're familiar with. So I, I think, you know, having trusted um, advisors either on your team or an extension of your team, you're going to need their advocacy and you're going to need their alignment with what you're trying to achieve. Very, very important. incredible. So for you, you've got to balance that right brain and left brain all the time. Yes. <laughs> and be really good with people. I mean, people is where it all comes together. But as we were, were talking about earlier, you've got the magic and the science. So let's talk about the science because you know, Disney is a tremendous company. You have super fans all over the entire planet. And at the heart of the strategy is also the data and the data capture. So how do you collect actionable data across all of those touch points in your channel and make those meaningful connections with your customers? That's, that's an excellent question. It's what we focused a lot on in terms of development under the hood, um, you know, with our relaunch that happened a year ago and what we continue to work on. As I mentioned, we were originally conceived of um, to help the in-home Blu-ray and DVD market. And we still have that points earning mechanism today where inside the packaging of eligible titles, you'll find a unique code that people will enter onto the website in order to identify that they've purchased and what they've purchased. So that's a very valuable mechanism for us to be able to track that. The theatrical side, we've actually done a lot of work on upgrading that. Um, we've uh, implemented integrated ticketing on our site and our, on our app um, so that for the most seamless customer journey from purchase to earning points in our program, we have that available. But we also fundamentally know that right now, most customers are going to be purchasing their tickets through their favorite cinema or ticketing service. And so we've added things like uh, in our app, now that we have an app, you can scan your movie ticket in order to get points. Um, we also have a number of loyalty linking programs uh, with partners such as Regal and Fandango and Adam Tickets. And so these are, these are ways for us to expand our network and really make it easier for our customers to earn points and allow us to also capture purchases in a variety of ways. Um, that's, you know, really the beginning. I think, you know, we're really excited about learning to learn deeper about our customers. Uh, typically at the studio, we've looked at that more as franchise affinity, so Marvel, Star Wars, Pixar. Um, however, I'm really excited about going even deeper and learning more about 
our members uh, in terms of their need states and why they buy movie tickets and when they buy movie tickets, because that's really going to allow us to be more personalized in our communications with them and also the kinds of offers that we feel at an individual level a member is going to like. Well, you know, data is the thing that enables us to be completely relevant with each one of our customers. So do you, do you feel like you have the data that you need at your fingertips right now to be more effective? <laughs> I don't think anybody ever feels like they have enough data. And, you know, for us, we want to be careful, too, that, you know, we are being respectful of our customers' data. It's very important to us uh, that we are. And, and really, you know, if we're going to capture data, we want to be able to use it in a way that's going to benefit our members. Of course. Uh, we, want to, we want to be very careful about that. So... Uh, it's really an exciting time and, you know, it's, it's fantastic. And as we go along, we'll learn more and more. Well, I feel like we're really in a golden age for marketers where we really can delight our customers better than we ever have in the past. So Ruth, at the end of the day, we really have to demonstrate value. So how do you currently evaluate how your program is actually performing? Well, you know, first of all, because we're very focused on our members right now, um, we're constantly looking at sort of their, um, you know, advocacy, their feelings about the program, um, you know, whether it be through our consumer panel or, you know, when we do broader research just to, you know, poll how our membership is feeling. But also, really, it's uh, a lot of the investment in Disney Movie Insiders is that we want to scale. We want to capture more of our top box customer, which we know um, really are proportionately great when it comes to our revenue. And so we really want to reach out and make sure, and we feel that a lot of our scale goals can really be achieved by appealing to younger adults and also multicultural audiences that we know over index and frequent movie going. So, you know, this is really a great time for us to not only keep our loyal members who have stuck with us since we were Disney Movie Rewards, but also grow the program to embrace a, a whole, you know, larger group of consumers, which is really exciting. Excellent. So, Kristen, it's always hard to pick the right partner when you go on this journey. What has been your criteria for picking a partner and what led you to Oracle Crowdfist? We really want thought partners. We are, you know, we've, we, a lot of us have been with Disney a very long time and we love our movies. We love our content. Um, but we want somebody to help us bring the technology and also think about how we can bring the kinds of experiences and learn in the way that we need to in order to get us to the next level successively. Uh, and we really loved when uh, we worked with CrowdTwist um, that they really listened to us and they were very responsive to, like we had a lot of questions, very deep, broad questions and they really responded and quite frankly, we felt very comfortable and simpatico with them. Um, you know, we're a very diverse team. They're a very diverse team. We really felt that shone through throughout our interactions with them. And we've really enjoyed working with them. And we love their approach to customer-led innovation. And I'm really looking forward to attending my first uh, CX Marketing Customer Advisory uh, meeting in October. That's going to be fantastic. That's wonderful. Okay, so you've had an amazing career at Walt Disney, and you've been doing some fantastic things for the last two years. What comes next? What's, what's next for you, and what's next for, for Walt Disney Studios? I'm really excited about what the next year is going to bring, because I felt like our first year of the relaunch was really about getting the basics right for our current membership, and then also really setting the stage uh, for, for some really exciting features that are going to be coming up working with our technology team. So uh, we're really looking forward to bringing some of those digital experiences to help engage um, a new generation of Disney Movie Insider members. I can't wait. 
Sounds like the best is yet to come. Yes. Well, Ruth, I want to thank you for spending time with me and for, for sharing your story with, with our viewers. It was so interesting to listen to everything that you've accomplished and everything you're setting out to do. And we are so thankful that we can partner with you on this journey. Thank you so much. So thank you everyone for joining us for Oracle Live today. We're so happy to spend the time with you and please stay in touch with us. You can stay connected at oracle.com slash CX.